Hello fellow Chuffernutters, this is Pauline from Saddle Tank Books and I thought I'd read you the story about polar bear and sea lion and it's dedicated to my sons Lewis, Joseph and Darius. Here we go. It's set on the Isle of Man during Victorian days when there used to be an awful lot of boats going across and a much larger steam railway. And it's all set Randall Glen Railway. A very long time ago, thousands of people would pile into steamships and travel to the Isle of Man on holiday. They would walk in the beautiful countryside, play on the beaches, eat Manx ice cream and Manx kippers, and marvel at the Manx cats with no tails. There was a grand steam railway, horse-drawn carriages, and an electric tramway was soon to be built. Now, Mr Broadbent, who lived near Groudle Glen, knew that the tram line would go past his house. Mm -hmm. I shall build a hotel, he said, and perhaps some things to do. So up went the hotel and he filled the valley of the glen with a bowling green, a dance floor, swings, roundabouts, a photographer, a fortune teller, a fair, wooden walkways, a water wheel and hundreds of trees. Lots of people came to see it. Mr Broadbent didn't want to stop. He wrote to Manchester Zoo. Could you spare a few animals? Of course we could, replied the zookeeper. We'll send you Nelly and Jumbo too. Before long, there were two brown bear cubs that for a small fee, children could walk along the cliff edge. There was a birdhouse next to the tea room and in the rocky ca caves in the cliff there were six sea lions and two polar bears called Nelly and Jumbo. And ever so often the polar bears would look across at the sea lions and lick their lips. It was a very long walk through Groudle Glen to the zoo. A little railway to carry folk would help, thought Mr Broadbent with a smile. And he had one built and ordered a little engine and three carriages. Well, the engine duly arrived. Your job is to take all the visitors to the zoo, explained Mr Broadbent, and your name is now Sea Lion. The little loco proudly set to work. Sea Lion was very popular indeed. Very soon, she was making 40 trips each day up and down the railway track, full of passengers and taking seafood for the animals too. Each evening though, she was very tired and sat alone in her shed. Dear me, said Mr Broadbent, I'll get another engine to help with the work and we'll build a passing loop in the track too. Before long, the, en the other engine arrived. Look at me, he said as he chuffed into the station. I'm Polar Bear and I have four carriages. Look at my lovely coat of paint. Mr Broadbent nodded approvingly. Bob the driver smirked and the people clapped. Now Polar Bear and Bob would work on the line all day too. And each time they passed Sea Lion at the loop, they would toot the whistle and tease Sea Lion until one day. The passengers climbed on board as usual. Time to go, said Bob wearily. Look at me, cried Polar Bear as he sped along the rails. Look at me, he tooted as he passed Sea Lion at the loop. 
Bob the driver didn't feel very well and sat down. As Polar Bear reached the headland, he started to go faster. Bob the driver closed his eyes. On and on, faster and faster he went. Stop, cried Polar Bear, stop! But the driver didn't break. Suddenly, bang went Polar Bear as he bashed into the buffers. Crash went the carriages as they careered into each other. The wheels slipped off the rails and the people fell out of their seats. Poor Bob had had a nasty turn. Everybody came rushing to help. Quick, call for Sea Lion, they cried. And she quickly came, chuffing up the track. The injured people were lifted into her three carriages. dear, oh no, I'm stuck, moaned Polar Bear. Let me help you too, said Sea Lion. And she towed the poor engine back onto the rails and all the way back into the shed. Polar Bear could no longer work. His frame was bent and his wheels were buckled. Oh dear, said Mr Broadbent, you'll have to go away to be fixed and Sea Lion can do all the work until we sort you out. So off he went. Now Sea Lion starts to take the people to see the animals all on her own again. But she secretly missed silly, arrogant Polar Bear. A few weeks later, he was back. But it wasn't the same Polar Bear. Thank you for helping me, he said sheepishly. Time for you to pick up your passengers, said Mr Broadbent. I don't think I can, said Polar Bear. Don't be scared, said Sea Lion. I'll be beside you. Then the two engines set off to pick up the passengers. They slowly chuffed out of the shed. Polar Bear was so happy. Everyone cheered to see Polar Bear and Sea Lion working together again. the Isle of Man today and you can still visit and see the Isle of Man steam railway and Groudle Glen railway and the horses with their tr pulling trams and the electric railway and the mountain railway too and it's a great place to go to see Sea Lion and the other engines at Groudle Glen and you can visit Polar Bear at Amberley in Sussex Thank you very much for listening. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon at one of the railways or at a steam fair or something. Take care. Bye.